Alright, today I'm going to show you how to change your diff oil. Um, first, you'll need a couple of simple tools. It's got some sockets there for the plugs. An old bucket that you can um, drain your oil into. You'll need your new diff oil. Now, this diff oil is um, for both LSD diffs and conventional style diffs without a limited slip diff. Um, you can see that yellow sticker up the top there on the diff says it's an LSD diff, so LSD oil only. So check that out while you're buying your oil. Um, also, these um, pump bottles come in handy for getting the oil up into the diff. Um, they come in handy for a lot of different jobs, so they're definitely worth the money. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is undo this top bolt. That'll let um, the oil drain a lot easier once you undo the bottom bolt so there won't be an airlock in there. <sighs> She's a wee bit tight this one. Alright, so whoever's done this up in the past obviously worked out a little. That or I didn't have my wheat picks this morning. There we go. Whew. Okay. Now look at that lovely shit coming out of there. Judging by the sound the diff was making, pretty confident she hasn't been changed in a while. You can tell by the look of that shit that, yeah, it hasn't. Alright, so. Now we want to go and release the bottom plug. Normally, Especially at this angle, there shouldn't really be any oil coming out, but they've overfilled it a little bit. But either that or water's gotten in there or something. Which it kind of looks like it has. So it's definitely been a while between changes. There we go. This is probably the worst looking oil I've ever seen in my life. You also want to give your nuts a bit of a clean while you're here. A lot of them have little magnets on the inside to pick up any metal shavings that find their way into the dip. Make sure the whole nut's clean like the thread. You don't want any dirt and shit getting inside your dip. Alright, so we'll let that train for a little while and come back and put the new stuff in. Alright, now because of the condition of the oil that was coming out of there, what I would suggest is putting the new oil in and running it for about a few hundred kilometres, um, then swapping it over again to get any of the residual shit out of there. Um, now we want to clean the mating surfaces where the nuts have a little copper seal on them. You want them to seat nicely around there. Oh man, that's like mud. I've only had this thing for about a month. So 
Right. Cheers to the previous owner. Alright, so first we want to put our bottom plug in. It's a pretty straightforward job this. There's nothing technical about it. The only thing you've got to worry about is whether your diff's a limited slip diff or not. There's ways to test it, which I'm sure you can find on YouTube. Double check that it's all clean. Alright. Now, you don't need a breaker bar to do it up. I want to do it up nice and tightly, but not over tight. There we go, that should be enough. And now all we got to do is pump the oil in. Put that hose in there nicely. Start pumping. I'll oh, definitely fast forward for this bit. Alright, so I just had a little bit of a read on the diff oil packaging and uh, it was suitable for LSD diffs but it says also for conventional diffs so if you don't feel like you want to actually test to see whether you um, have an LSD diff or not um, or you're unsure then just go and buy the LSD diff oil because if it's a conventional diff then it's not going to matter but so an LSD diff has clutches and shit in it so the oil needs to be specific so if you put conventional oil in an LSD diff you could do damage alright so that's it um, most of the uh, auto supply shops these days have like touchscreen computers and shit that you can find out your quantities of how much oil to put in there. Uh, it took about two minutes to find out that I needed 1.4 litres. Uh, you could keep filling it up until a little bit of oil drained out of here, but I'd just stick to what the manufacturer reckons. Now, the reason why it was overflowing was probably because at the top here there's a uh, an air valve and um, I'd say that being on an off-road vehicle that some water has gotten in through the air valve just to let pressure out but anyway hopefully this will quieten it down a little bit So I have been told once your diff's got a bit of a wine in it that you virtually can't get it out. Alright, so we'll clean off all this oil that's dripped down. <coughs> Do it up. And that's it, five minute job. So I just took the old girl for a quick drive and after less than a kilometre, the wine in the diff sounded a whole heap better. You can hardly hear it anymore. <coughs> just the last little check. Just make sure there's no oil coming out of where you uh, did the nuts up. Maybe check it in another week or so. And that's it.